Hey, what is up guys? Phoenix here, and today we're going to be finishing up another part of our Mudkip tutorial. So, where we left off, we should be starting the right side of the cheek, and we have a bit of a split here. So before I want to work with the right side, we're going to do the left side and connect it to the rest of the body. And that's where we have this one single weighting. So we're going to be going down into the left from here. So in order to go down into the left, make sure you just put the dirt block underneath or to the left side of what you last finished, and that should help you. So I'm just going to put it underneath because that's a lot easier. So first we're going to go down into the left two vertical. And just always add the placement block to the final block. See, nice. Makes it a lot easier. So we're going to go down to the left for single. One, two, three, four. Then down to the left, two vertical. Down to the left, two single. Down to the left, two vertical. All right, let me just line up my, um, sorry about that, my, my blueprint, like what I'm using, I kind of offlined it, and I don't want to mess up this pixel art, really, like, I usually mess up something, and I'm just like, oh, you know, just, just forget about it, but, okay, now we're going to down to left two single, one, two, down to left two vertical, two times in a row, so it's going to be two vertical just like this, that's one, and here's two. Then we'll go down to left one single again. Down to left two vertical. Down to left one single. Down to left two vertical, three times in a row. So here's where it gets a lot complicated. One, two, three. And we need to kind of connect it to the four vertical we have right here. So the way we're going to do that is we're just gonna go down to left three vertical one two three down to left two vertical and it should fill the gap right here so let's see if it does one two and it actually did so i'm going to go over the last couple of numbers so we have two three two 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 one two one two two one one and it starts going point of back so Hopefully your cheek connected like mine did. If you did have to rewatch that a little bit, uh, a little bit slower, make sure to do so. But we have a lot of the right side of the mouth to do now. So we're going to fly all the way back up to the start where we had this split. And we're going to go on the right side, which should have four verticals. One, two, three, four waiting. And it does. So from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go down into the right four vertical. And since we're going down into the right, instead of putting blocks to the left and underneath, we're going to put them to the right and underneath not much of a change but still you know change direction so first we're going to go down to right four vertical one two three four down to right nine vertical one two three four five six seven eight nine and from the bottom block in that nine vertical what you need to do is we're going to put one block underneath it like so and from the extra block underneath, we're just going to put one to the left. Then two to the right. So one, two. So it should look like this. Kind of off balance, but it's okay. It's four flat. From the two left on the flat right here, we're going to go down to the left three flat. One, two, three. And from the right side of the four flat now, so we're done with the left side. We're going to go up seven flat so up and to the right one two three four five six seven up and to the right ten flat one two three four five six seven eight nine ten down to the right three flat one two three and we're almost at the pointy part of her cheeks so i'm going to move the cameraman over a bit to the right just to make sure everything's lined up and we have a marker on the ground so if we see it that means yeah, as you can see, that marker, that black wool on the ground, it's kind of my marker to make sure that everything is in the field of view that you can be seen. So that means as I build, I won't have anything coming off of camera now. So from that three flat, we're going to go to the right side of it and go down to the right. Three vertical. One, two, three. Down to the left, one single. Down to the left, one single again. <laughs> and here's a bit of the fork now between the tail and the cheek. The 
second block in the vertical we have right here so this one we're gonna put three pieces of black wool to the right of it one two three which creates this four flat kind of thing and this is actually the tail running into the cheek so you can't really tell the separation right now so we color and stuff later but this first block right here is going to be the cheek and these three are going to be the tail so from these three we're gonna go down into the right two single one two down to the right 17 vertical one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen easy and now we have to start going down to the left now because this is the kind of like the farthest point to the right that we're going to go so we're going to start going down to the left from here so put your placement block on the bottom or left side each time as you continue so we're going to go down to the left six vertical one two three four five six down to the left five vertical one two three four five and let me just kind of zoom out and make sure this thing is lined up because i do not want it to mess up that'd be kind of bad now from that five we're going to go down into the left six vertical again one two three four five six I cannot get it right right now. Like it's so, I'm so used to playing at a desk. That it's so weird that I'm not playing at a desk right now. Anyways, continuing going down to left. We're going to go down to left three vertical. One, two, three. Down to left four vertical next. So one, two, three, four. And I just kind of want to finish up the cheek and maybe the tail today. And hopefully that's enough for this part. I don't know how much time we're going to be running in on but I don't want to be using too much time because I'm not feeling too good and I want to film multiple parts so I just have stuff to show off while I recuperate, rest and relax and stuff like that. So three, four. Then we're going to go down to left three vertical two times in a row. One, two, three. That's one. Get your placement block. One, two, three. That's two. And just go back and clean up your workspace by deleting these dirt blocks. And we're almost at the ground level now. So we're just going to keep going. Next, we're going to go down to left four vertical. down to left two vertical down to left three vertical one two three and just going over the last couple of blocks we did we have four two three and uh, let me see if I have any dirt blocks left over that I need to get rid of none that I can see so this is good so for our final little home stretch right here we're gonna go down to left two vertical two times in a row one two placement block one two and for the final bit to hit the ground, we're just going to go down to left three vertical. One, two, three. So if you touch the ground, that's the end of the tail right there. And I kind of don't know why I have this stretched out so far over here. Maybe it was just to make sure I have everything in the field of view. Um, I think that goes above the, the 17 in the tail, actually. Let me see. Which was, I'm trying to make sure everything's in frame. I'm going to fly straight up from here and see if I run into the 17. Um, do I? No. It's a little bit weird. If I go underneath it and I drop, do I land on the black wool? No. Nah. So maybe it was just to get into a frame. I'm not really sure. But uh, we got um, the tail good, so we just need to do the cheek now. And for the cheek, actually, we're going to separate some of the spacing because there is some blank space behind Mud Kip's back that we haven't separated yet. And we'll get to that right now. So go up to the cheek where we should have this kind of three flat just chilling right here in like an L shape. Let me just zoom out so you can see it. All right, so you should see it. Um, from that three flat, we're gonna start going up and to the right and completing the cheek. So first we're gonna go up and to the right, two flat. Up and to the right, three flat. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two flat. And from the right block in our two flat right here, we're gonna put one black wool on top. And then we're gonna up and to the left two single from that top block. So one, two. There we go. Now from the two flat right here, we're gonna go to the right block again and we're gonna go, whoops. We're gonna go down into the right from it, two singles. One, two. 
from that second block in the two single, we're going to start going down to the left and down to the right from it. But first, I'm going to go down to the left. One single. Down to the left. Two vertical. Down to the left. Three singles. One, two, three. Down to the left. Two vertical. Down to the left. One single. Down to the left, two vertical, two times in a row. So one, two, placement block, one, two. And just to connect, the, um, connect this final piece, we're just gonna put one single in between these two blocks. And this should complete this shape. It's like a weird triangle, like a Dorito shape. This entire space right here is gonna be empty. This is behind Mudkip, so we're never gonna fill this space in. But you have to shape it out so you can see where Mudkip's hips and uh, cheek kind of separate. All right, climbing back up now to it, where we have this single on the right side right here. So let me just see if you can find it. We're actually gonna start going down into the right from there, or just below it. Starting off though, we're gonna go below it and put two black wool going to the right. One, two, just like that, which creates this three flat shape below where we just started. We're then gonna go down into the right, two singles, one, two, down to the right, two flat. Down to the right, three singles. One, two, three. Down to the right, two flat. And we're almost done with the first little spine in her cheeks, or his cheeks. I, I like to call Mudkip's girls though because I feel like Mudkip's cute. And it's kind of like girly to me, I don't know. I'm not saying that all Pokemon are girly or if they're cute, but I'm just saying I think Mudkips are girls. So one, two, three, then two flat. Then we go down to the right, one single again. Down to the right, two flat. Down to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. And from the fifth block, so go all the way to the right, the fifth block right here, we're gonna add 11 to the top of it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And since we added eleven after we already had one, if you count it in total, it should be twelve. So just count it: three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is twelve. It means we did good. And it does have this pointy triangle shape, so it means it's even better. So going to the second to last block from the top, this one right here. We're gonna go to the right of it and put one single. Then the last block, so this one at the top, we're gonna go up and to the left, five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. So this block right here, I'm gonna put a marker on it because that's for its tail, that's not for the cheek. The five vertical though is for the cheek, so we're gonna continue on the five vertical. So on that five vertical, we're gonna go to the top block and put six going to the right of it. One, two, three four, five, six, which just created a seven long kind of flat shape right here. On the left and right side though, we're gonna be doing two things. First, on the left side, we're gonna up into left three vertical, one, two, three, then up into left two vertical, one, two, and that's it for the left side. You can clean up your dirt block, which cleans up your space, kind of keeps everything clean. Then on the right side, where we have the end of our seven right here, we're gonna go down into the right, eight flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And from the end of the eight, we're gonna start going up into the right now, up into the right, three flat. And from the right block, all the way on this three flat right here, we're gonna put three on top of it. One, two, three. Now let's start curving it upward until it kind of hits the top cheek of where we've already started. So we're going to just keep going up into the left for now. So put your placement block to the left or the top each time as you continue moving forward and you should um, be okay. So first we're going to up into the left, three vertical, one, two, three. Then up into the left, two vertical like this, one, two, three times in a row. So this is the first one. We need two more. One, two. One, two, perfect. 
Um, next, we're going to go up and to the left, one single. Up and to the left, two vertical. Up and to the left, one single. And this single is kind of a split right here. So on the left side of it, we're going to go up and to the left, two singles. One, two. And then going back to that starting single, we're going to go up and to the right from it now. And we kind of needed to go up into this corner right here, which we haven't developed yet. So all I'm going to do is we're going to go to this corner and go down to left to vertical. And then hopefully we have it matched up. If we go up into the right, like seven or eight singles, it should touch the corner right there. So let's try. So from this first single, we're going to go up into the right eight single. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it met at the corner, which means it's correct. As you can see, the, sheet, the cheek kind of spiked out like it's supposed to, but we're not done with this um, bottom left side of it. We still have to go a little bit more. So first we're going to up into the left two vertical, then up into the left two single one, two. And that's it for the cheek. Actually, um, I don't think we have any details that we're missing. I think both cheeks are complete now. Um, we can do the tail and the arm next. So I'm going to do a little bit of the tail detail. So on the tail, first we're going to go to the bottom right of the middle cheek. So you can see there's a middle spike in the cheeks right here where we have this backwards L. We're going to go to the top block in the four verticals. We have one, two, three, four. Let me just delete these dirt blocks. These are ugly. This is why I always clean up my dirt blocks. See how annoying those were? Anyways, we have four vertical right here. We're going to go to the top one. And to the right of it, we're going to put two black wool. We're then going to go up and to the right, three flat. Then up and to the right, two flat. Now moving down to the left where we have this eight, ver I mean flat, sorry, to the bottom left of the L. We're going to go to the first two blocks in our eight flat and put one block underneath each of them. <laughs> now from that two flat, we're going to go down to the left, one single, down to the left, two flat then down to left two single but we already have one right here so we should just need one and it should meet up with what we already had and this is creating those lines in the tail so if you're following this curve you can see it's going down to the left over here so where it's going to exit next is on this second two flat we have in the tail so let me put a marker on it so you can see we have a two flat down to the right of it right there but it's not the one we're using we're using the second one that's between this one single and these three singles. All right, so I've been hovering there long enough. We can continue now. So I'm going to go down to the left from there. So it means you put your placement block on the bottom or left side each time. First, we're going to put one single, then two flat. Then we're going to go down to the left, seven singles. Is that seven singles? That's a lot. Oh my goodness, yeah. One, two, three four, five, six, and seven. We're then going to go down to left, two vertical, down to left, two single, down to left, two vertical again, down to left, three single, one, two, three. And now finally to finish it off, we're just going to go down to left two vertical and it should line, line up with the top two blocks in a four vertical, one, two, three, four. So that's our four vertical and it lined up perfectly with the top two blocks, which means we did it correctly. So that's the streak in our tail. So now we finish the tail and the right side of the cheek. We, all we have to do left is the arms, some details in the face and the fins on the top, which we will get to in another time. Um, kind of just chilling right now, pacing myself slowly. So that's going to be it for this part. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, I'll be sure to crank out more of the parts um, as soon as possible. Kind of wanted this one to be an hour long or something, but I don't have the time right now. So hopefully you do enjoy. This is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later.